Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the little button that operates the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. I got through that okay. It's all right. Anyway, what's going on? Uh, the knucklehead. The knucklehead is going on. Last time, let's see, on our last video, what did we do on the knuckle? I think what we did was, uh, oh, I know what I did. Sized a, uh, let me get to it here a little bit, Mike. Excuse me. There it is. We sized that bushing yeah. and honed it, and it is fitted, and it is sweet. It took a little while longer. Well, everything took a little while longer. The heads are out being worked on, and we'll get into that in a little while. But right now, what we're going to do is I've decided what I should do while I'm waiting for the heads to come back, because I have them out being worked on by somebody who is an expert at such things. You know, I've worked on a few knuckleheads in my life but I'm not an expert on the heads. And I really wanted them done by somebody who really knows what he's doing, and I'm afraid I can't advertise for him because he prefers his privacy. But he has got my cylinder heads, and hopefully I'll have them in a few days. Yeah. Maybe, okay? If I don't have them in a few days, well, then I'll have them in a couple weeks. But, yeah. you know, I mean, he's not gonna, not gonna give me a bad time with the timing, but, um, I really would like to be able to ride the knucklehead to uh, Born Free, which is coming up, uh, not Born Free, Hippie, Hippie Killer. Killer. Hippie Killer Hoedown is mm -hmm. next Saturday, yeah. Saturday, October 14th. Yes. And it's in Winchester, California. Yes. It's Cuddy's show. He's having an un end of summer show in Winchester, which is where he started having his shows many years ago. And he's going to have a show there. It's a party and and car show and motorcycle show and live bands and it's going to be a ball and we will definitely be there. Okay, Cameraman I said that. Yes, cameraman Mike is apologizing for something already. I don't even know what he did, but if well, he's apologizing and eaten by mosquitoes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I think I think apologizing in advance is probably a good idea. Well, I'm shaking the camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's what it is. All right. Anyway, so I put one cylinder on, one piston, one cylinder on as a little practice run because, believe me, assembling these things with all of you wonderful folks watching is a whole lot harder than assembling it when I'm all alone by myself in the garage. And listening to music. And listening to music and talking to my dog or talking to Mike or talking, you know, I mean, really. Yes, sir. I mean, I got wonderful neighbors. I can talk to my neighbors. But people all around the other side of the globe watching me do something, uh, I get embarrassed. Anyway, so here is the front piston and cylinder. And uh, let's see, in the previous two videos ago, what we did is we sized the rings and all that sort of thing. So we've got that stuff ready to go. And I've got my picture here. Uh, as to the way I want the ring staggered. Now, any Evo, any Harley Evolution service manual has this picture in it. And they came out, when Evos came out in 1984, I saw that little diagram looking at the service manual on this new motor, this Evolution thing that had just been invented. And I really liked the pattern that they use for staggering the rings. Now, I wasn't having any problems doing it the way I was, but I really like this pattern, and I've done all my motors that way ever since. My motors or anyone else's. Anyway, so here's the piston all cleaned up and ready to go. And let's see. Now, looking at this piston on the bottom, the way the factory intended this is if you notice this little boss right here, and that little boss goes on the pinion side. In other words, on this side, the pin where the pinion gear is, where all those gears, the timing gears are in there, the gear side, or the right side of the motorcycle. When you're sitting on a motorcycle, it's like sitting in a car. The right side is the right side from where the driver is sitting. 
The left side is the left side from where the driver is sitting. It's like being on the tiller of a sailboat and it's port and starboard. Well, it's left and right. Anyway, so this piston, according to the factory, is intended to go in with this boss on the right side. So I know that the wrist pin came out that way and all that sort of thing. I'm all oriented correctly. Now, um, the other thing is I want to say is these old wrist pins are something really interesting. And we'll get into that when we get to it here in a minute. So let's start with, let's see, this is the top piston ring. Whoa, this is the expander. And these are the bottom rings, and this should be the second ring. There we go. Okay. So we'll look at this picture here. Wow, man. I'm sorry. The, 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 the skeeters mosqu are because they know I can't go after them. The mosquitoes are eating, are eating Mike alive, and I'm really sorry. Doesn't mean I'm going to do anything about it, but I'm sorry. I'm not that tasty. I have no idea and don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told I've been... I don't tell me what you've been told, okay? I'm rather bitter. Yeah, well, how about we don't talk I'm about a bitter it? Old man. How about we don't talk about it, okay? Okay, now. All right. So now we're going to put this oil expander right here. See? There's the split in it right there. Okay, now we can put on... Now, as far as, as installing these is concerned, it's not really very difficult, but on these little rails that go down here on the, on the oil control ring, they tell you to go ahead and spiral them on, which is what I'm doing. I'm kind of winding them on. They call that spiraling them on. So I'm spiraling them on. Spiral, spiral. Here we go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to get a better shot of that later. <clears throat> now I had... There we go. Let's see if we can do this. What is it you're trying to do? You can get that out of there if you would, please. Just get that out of there, okay? Thank you. There we go. All right. Now, let's see. I'm looking at my picture. Okay. The expander is right there. And... We'll just run a, an oil ring right up here. Right there. Okay. Okay. Now, we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing with the other oil ring down in that corner. <clears throat> it's not right. It's that way. That's how you spiral it. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You keep, just keep doing it till it gets down there, right? Yep. Okay. Well, that's on these. That's not on the other rings. Yeah. That's just on these little rails here. Thank you. Okay. You can see as I put that on there just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't match this uh, gap the same <coughs> as the bottom one. <coughs> nope. Nope, you do the gap just like I'm showing you. Okay. We've got the expander over. Where is the expander is? That's not the expander. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, it, oh yeah, sorry. It's all right. It's on your finger. Right there. There it is, okay. So there is the expander. Okay. We're going to do this just like this. We're going to put this expander right here. Okay. 
and we've got the oil ring right over here. Okay, and then we got the other oil ring. You can just run your fingers all the way around there and try to feel it because. Is this alcohol? Excuse me. Second ring, oil ring. Okay, there's the oil ring. Okay, we got it. Okay, now. You need alcohol? I'm sorry. Okay, good. Guy's really in pain here, and I'm not being very nice to him, but it's okay. Okay, this is the top ring, and this is the second ring. Okay, now the second ring, we've already sized it. Got that all finished. And we have to look at it very carefully to see, and I don't think you can even see this on the video but there is a dot right there and I'll bet you can't even see it no no well I'll tell you I've got one eye fixed and the other one they haven't fixed yet yep. and uh, <laughs> my eye is not uh, you guess what mosquitoes don't like alcohol okay I'm pleased to hear that okay Okay, now this is for putting on piston rings, for installing them. And you just try to be real careful and not go open any further than you need to. You can see why I wanted to sit down to do this. Oops. And there it is. Almost. There it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that is the second ring. And we're going to put it right over there. Okay. Second ring right over there. And the top ring Look at that, we're running out of bags. We must have used it all. Okay. And there it is. Now the top ring has no dot in it. The top ring is the same either side. The second ring, and this is something you have to check on every set of rings you're using. You look and see what the manufacturer said. You read the instructions. I'm not going over all the instructions. I've already been through them all before I started. And I recommend that everybody go 100% by the directions. Okay, now I'm going to put this top ring on. Very carefully. Oops. Careful as I was, it didn't help. And there it is. And I love it. And there it is. Top ring should be right there. Okay. All right. Now we're pretty much set up to install this piston onto onto the uh, onto the rod. So let's see about that real quick. We'll just put a little assembly lube there in the in the. Uh, on the rod bushing. Now you'll notice the gasket is always here and people are always asking me what gasket should I use? Use whatever you want. Okay? I mean I know that that I mean that people would like a nice recommendation so they can feel good about it but there are several manufacturers that make some pretty nice gaskets. Um, I believe I don't remember but I believe these are probably James. They are, they have a, a metal piece in them and they do have print -a seal on both sides. That's the silicone thing here, which is why I put these in completely dry. Unlike a cameraman there who is completely
alcohol now. I'm sorry, but it's working. You know. I sprayed a little alcohol on me and they leave me alone. It only works for like 20 minutes. Sounds like you're beginning to have an alcohol problem. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I'm feeling so much better. I'm glad. I'm trying to get a good picture of you. <laughs> I'd have to look better. Okay. So now I'm going to put this piston onto this rod. <laughs> Maybe I can put it on just like that. And it's a nice light hand press fit in there. Mm -hmm. I saw the pin going. Yep. Nice. You betcha. Now what we're going to do is I had a rag here just a second ago. I'm going to put it right here so I can let this piston kind of rest here. The hard part is putting this snap ring on the wrist pin. And for anyone, yeah, we have found, oh, I'll tell you what it is. I can't remember the tool that I had for putting these on years ago. And I went and bought a new tool just to do this. And I'm going to get the piston raised up quite a bit here. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. That's all right. It's up all the way. Um, so I bought a new tool. And these are these wild little step snap rings. And uh, I'm using assembly lube here. And I'm going to put this snap ring on to this tool here. There it is. To remember which way the tool goes. This is a Jim's snap ring tool for the antique type. Can you see that, Mike? Is that? Um, yeah, can you bring it over here for a second? Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's Are you showing? Let's, let's go electronically. I, I don't know what you want me to do. Stand still. Oh, yeah, okay. Show the tool. Okay, this, and then this, and then this. So what happens, we're going to get that snap ring moved, the taper on that tool. Okay. We're going to get it quite a ways up there because when we do this, we're going to do it quick and dirty. Did I say that? Okay. All right, now... What we're going to do is we're going to put this in place, okay? And we don't want the opening on the snap ring to be where the opening is on the wrist pin. So we're going to put it right there. We're going to get this right here. And Mike came up with an idea. I asked him to hold it for me. And he's holding it right now. And I'm hoping this is going in the camera because there's only two of us. But he's holding that thing, and I'm going to pop it on all at once. You ready, Mike? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Now nah, I got it. Yes, it did. Yep, I felt it. Okay, very good. Now, I thought I had a... Pushing with? Yeah. What he did is he held the other side of that thing with a clothespin. What I don't want to do is I don't want to side load the rod in there. You don't want to damage the rod bearing in the lower end. Consequently, it's like that. But that puppy is on there now. Can you show the snap ring in there? I'm going to right now. Okay, let me see if I can get out of your way, Mike. Yeah. You see that okay? Where's the opening at the top? Mm-hmm. 
You, well, yeah, I didn't want to put it where the other one was. Okay, so let's see the tool again. The tool is right here. It is a Jim's tool. Okay, let's see, like that. Okay, well, can you flare it out this way a little bit? There we go. Remember. Hold on, let me. There we go. Okay, nice tool. And it's flared. Yeah, and the snap ring, I don't have more of those snap rings no. out. I just got one out to use yeah. it. But that was it. It goes, on. it goes on there on this big taper, and then you push it with this sleeve, and then this is the last part of it, and it goes over the wrist pin end okay. and snaps into place. And boy, they're in there. I mean, you know, getting them out is no picnic either. Yeah, I can see that. They're in there all right. Oh, yeah. All right. In fact, the tool I used for getting them out was uh, something we had made for doing... Uh, Evo exhaust flanges. Oh, I see. You cut the end or ground it down. I end. ground it down to fit an Evo exhaust flange clip. Nice. Because we had to do so many Evo exhausts in the old days. Like every time somebody bought one. <laughs> okay, so now I want to check these rings again. Make sure I haven't, you know, messed them up to where, I, to where they go. Okay. There they are. And there it is. There it is. And there it is. Anyway, so we're having a good time. I'm actually pleased with this now. Now I'm gonna put a little oil. I'm gonna put a little oil. Where am I gonna put a little oil? Hmm. Probably, oh I know where. On my uh, ring compressor. That's what I wanted to show was my ring compressor. I keep getting asked to show tools and I don't think to show them all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to, to accommodate the people that want to see them. This is a snap, uh, 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 a ring compressor set. It's an automotive set. Oh, there it is, hold on. And there's all the different size bands in there to, to go around the piston and rings. And that's the handle. And that's the pair of pliers that holds these. I'll show you in a moment. Now the thing is, when you're putting a piston into an automotive engine, it's going in from the top. Mm -hmm. With a motorcycle, the cylinder is going down over the piston. Consequently, when this thing says bottom on it, that would be the way for putting a piston in this way. Mm -hmm. But we're going to put a cylinder on that way, so we Bingo. turn it over. Okay. okay. So I'm going to put a little oil on this thing. And if anybody wants to know where they bought the, buy them, I think I bought that one off a tool truck. I think it was a Snap-on tool truck. And I don't know what brand tool this is. Probably a KD. It says Made in USA. And it says KD. Which are a good brand of mechanics tools. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. Now the bottom, again, want to be sure it's upside down. Okay, now I'm going to set that there for just a second. And I'm going to put some oil. Now everybody does this a little different, and it's okay with me however you do it. But what I do is I put oil on the skirts, mm -hmm. skirt of the pistons, and, and I will, there we go, I want to make sure I don't get that out of place again. Where is it? You see the opening? There it is. Okay, I want it down there. Okay, and that one right there, okay? Placement of the rings, like I said, is, as far as I'm concerned, is important, and I try to do it accordingly. Now, we have this cylinder here, which I have washed and washed and washed. Ah, I did already ball hone this cylinder, and all I'm going to do is just put a light coat of oil in here, mm -hmm. and that's it. We don't want to go flooding it with oil, which is pretty common. A lot of people do that and can't understand why they smoke like a pig. Sorry folks, I just got bit by a big one. <laughs> Free job. We're having a real problem with, with mosquitoes here. I hear it's all over. Yeah. yeah, I hear it is too. Because of the big rings. 
Yeah, is that what it was? Yeah. Plants are, are being affected too because they were used to so much water. That okay, so right now I'm going to put this ring compressor in place. Oops. And we want to go just a little below the top, just so we can kind of locate the cylinder onto it. Mm. See, because it'll locate itself, but you don't want to go too low or you're going to be below the ring. So the idea is to be good at it. Okay? Don't touch. It's all right. Okay, now I'm going to take this. There's another tool I like to use here if it's laying here. Yeah. Is that the one you were supposed to show you before? No. No, thank you. Okay. Now we're going to take this one here. Make sure that this notch is going right in the middle. What notch is that? Right here. Okay. You go right in the middle where the rods can clear it. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on here. It's probably going to fight me. There we go. Put my hand under here. And on it goes. And I might add that went very nicely. Now we're going to take this off of here. There we go. Get this off of there. We can take this off here. Sometimes this really comes in handy being down here. This plate. But in this particular instance, I had enough nice big room in, in the front here. The rear cylinder was much harder. And the reason it's much harder is because there's no height to the frame. And then if I was me, I'd say it was on there. Very nice. Very nice. Lord, it's lovey-dovey. Yes, makes me happy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I think I'll just start the nuts, but really all we have to do is torque these down and it's done. So, uh, for your information, you know, the book doesn't always call out torque specs on this old stuff. So, the specs that I use on pans and shovels, when it comes to torquing things, I just treat the knuckle as if it were any other old Harley, which means I torque the cast iron cylinders to 45 pounds. I torque the cast iron heads to 65 pounds, and that's pretty much it. So anyway, that's good enough for now. I've got to put the nuts on there, and I don't think anyone needs to be shown how to do that. And that is done for now. Um, I did want to show another couple of tools real quick. I think I showed this one when we did the rod last time, when we, when we sized that uh, rod bushing. What is that? This is the rod holding tool that goes on That's to the there. That's the one you were supposed to show. That's the one I was supposed to show. Well, I got even more stuff to show then. Yeah. This is show and tell. Oh, wow. What is that? This is a fancy one which uh, Roger Ramjet Products built, designed and built for doing rod bushings in an evolution motor. That's and he even designed, they even went so far as to design a, uh, a reamer one pass? that is a one-pass reamer wow. that will make your rod bushing exactly the right size for an evolution motor. And that was Roger Ramjet. If anyone who knows him, hello to you. Roger was a real good friend of mine and, and, and I miss him terribly. He was a great guy. Okay, I, that, I just wanted to show those, and I did. And you can still buy these things from the other tool suppliers. They're out there. Okay? I did want to show our T-shirts. We have a new T-shirt. Oh, I think so. I'm kind of impressed with it. I'm very pleased. Uh, that was, of course, shot by, by our art department, photographer Fred. And that is this knucklehead motor, which we're putting together at this moment. So that's what we're doing. And for t-shirts, 
or baseball caps. Embroidered. Embroidered baseball caps, excuse me. Uh, all you need to do is go on to PacificMike.com, which is our personal website. Up in the other right, up in the upper right hand corner, it says T-shirts. You click on that and you can order shirts. Christmas is coming. And so there it is. Oh, by the way, we put the knucklehead motor, for the first time we did this, and I think we're going to do more of it, we put it on the front of the shirt. I'm so proud of that motor, we just put it on the front of the shirt. And I hope everybody enjoys that. So, hopefully we'll see you at the Hippie Killer this weekend, this coming weekend, which is Saturday, October 14th in Winchester, California. Uh, pretty easy to find. There isn't much else in Winchester, California. So until then, I'll see you out on the road.